Graduated from Lock Haven State College, Joe came to Eisenhower in the fall of 1973. He became a physical education instructor and an assistant wrestling coach with Hall of Fame coach Tony Ross. Assisting for those years, Joe often credited Coach Ross as providing a strong example for his coaching style. 1978, Joe became the head coach and would hold that position for the next 25 years. With much success, Joe recorded his 100th Eisenhower Knight team win on February 17, 1993. Coach Letko was honored by the Pennsylvania Wrestling Coaches Association. The 1994-95 and the 1995-96 seasons, Joe enjoyed two undefeated seasons. In that two-year span, his squads finished first, second, or third in every tournament they competed. In dual matches, the Knights enjoyed a 27 dual match win streak. 1995, Joe's squad won the Tri-County Athletic Conference for the very first time. They did it again in 1996 by defeating Cranberry 50-6 in the 96 sectional team championships. Eisenhower defeated defending champ Fort LaBeouf by a 196.5 to 195.5. Joe reported this has to be one of the greatest days of Eisenhower wrestling history. This is the highlight of our year. There's no finer adrenaline rush in sports than this. I'd like to freeze frame this moment and put it in a jar. It doesn't get any better than this. A humble man, Joe would never say these facts. Truth is, he coached 30 sectional champs two district champions, and one regional champion. Coach Letko led his charges to the PIAA state championships in Hershey a total of eight times. In 1990, Matt Burlingame brought home the Knights' first ever bronze medal. Just six years later, Ike standout Travis Hummel won a battle-tested bronze in 1996. During his tenure, Coach Letko had the honor of coaching his son, Joe Letko II. His son became the Knights' first 100-plus match winner in Eisenhower wrestling. With two trips to Hershey, young Joe completed his career with 110 match victories, the second most in Warren County history. Joe II made a deep run into the 95 state championships. As a father, Coach Letko was exceptionally proud of his son's accomplishments. Joe was named Section Coach of the Year three times, and he received District 10 Coach of the Year honors twice. Upon retirement in 2003, Coach Letko left a strong legacy of loyalty, dedication, and hard work to Eisenhower Wrestling. Having coached 31 years, Joe preferred that the program's success be about his athletes and not about himself. His assistant coaches loved and appreciated his dedication. Many of his former wrestlers became coaches themselves. Joe made a strong impact on everyone who wrestled at Eisenhower, his assistants, and the entire Eisenhower community. Joe left a passion for the sport of wrestling at Eisenhower. His records are impressive, but more importantly, the influence and impact he had on so many lives will continue.